Science today tells us that there are internal and external waves in the ocean. Internal waves are the undersea equivalent of surface waves you see at the beach. They have a vital role in transferring heat, energy, and momentum in the ocean. Science has recently discovered this in the 20th century, but this natural phenomenon was mentioned around 1500 years ago in the Quran. Allah says, All their deeds are like the darkness in a deep sea, covered by waves upon waves, topped by dark clouds, darkness upon darkness. If one stretches out their hand, they can hardly see it. This verse mentions that the deep waters of the seas and oceans are covered by waves, and above these waves are other waves. It is clear that the second set of waves are the surface waves that we see, because the verse mentions that above the second waves, there are clouds. The internal waves cover the deep waters of seas and oceans, because the deep waters have a higher density than the waters above them. How could a man living more than 1400 years ago in the desert know this? And why would he mention this? Where did this knowledge come from? Was he a scientist, or did he just guess? How could an illiterate man who was a shepherd come up with a book in a society where more than 90% of the people were illiterate? Even historians can't explain how his army was able to defeat the biggest empires of that time, like the Romans and the Persians. How come this man is still followed to this day by millions around the world? How come the book he brought is memorized by millions by heart? Those are some of the questions that millions of people around the world have asked themselves, including thinkers, researchers, and scientists, and which lead them to go deep into research to understand the Quran and Islam. But at the end of their research and study, many of them end up embracing Islam because the only answer they can find is that the Quran contains information and knowledge that could not be known by any human being at the time it was revealed. Therefore, there is no doubt that this book, the Quran, is of divine origin. Allah says in the Quran, and if you are in doubt about what we have revealed to our servant, Muhammad, then produce a single chapter like it and call your helpers other than Allah if what you say is true.